Hello, we're back with part three of the Frank interview series. Hello. All right, we're going to jump right in because we have a lot more questions to cover. How has the surgery changed our relationship? We've kind of talked about this in other questions, but I'll let him in case there's anything we've missed. Um, I guess it's, it's changed as far as, uh, I guess the first thing, which I like to do, is go into the gym. We go to Lifetime Gym, and I've always liked going to the gym, and usually in the past it was just me going, and now it's something we do together, um, so that's changed in a positive way. Um, living in Colorado here, there's a lot of outdoor things to do, like hiking. Rafting, and, um, skiing. So we do a lot of more of the outdoor activities together, um, and then having our three-year-old, we do more all as, as a family we go do more things um because Kristen is Kristen has more energy now so I guess those are some of the major things that have changed going back to the previous video I just want to add one of the questions was what's your least favorite change and I think your answer probably should have been that I'm freezing all the time yeah you are cold all the time I'm not it's not I'm always cold anyway okay do you miss, this is interesting, do you miss anything about the old me? Or do you feel like I'm the same person? I don't know. I guess the only hard thing for me is um, when we do have a, a dinner that I really like and I want to eat a lot of it, I always have that little guilty feeling. And you I'll, do? And, um, <laughs> I didn't know that. I'll look over at Kristen's plate and actually sometimes I feel bad about myself that I'm eating so much and uh, I, I feel bad for her and about myself that why am I eating so much so that's probably <laughs> um, two things there well you shouldn't feel bad I didn't know you still feel bad I just don't say it as much too well you shouldn't because I would rather be healthy and thinner than eat a bunch of food Um, okay. Was it difficult to support my new habits, my eating plan, or going to the gym? No, not at all, because that's all things I've always um, been conscious of, so that wasn't a difficult at all for me. And, okay, next question. And I would say, just add to that, that he's super supportive of going to the gym because he likes it. He always has tried to eat healthy. And you've been really supportive about, you'll remind me to take my vitamins. You've started eating Quest Bars. So we're kind of in it together. Um, does Kristen have more of a voice in the relationship post-op? This was a question someone asked. I wouldn't say that I've noticed any difference in that area. I think you're still the same. I, it wasn't like I didn't have a voice before, just because I was more insecure and unhealthy. I still, no. we still were like 50-50. Um, no, I haven't really seen a, a big change there. No, I don't, I don't think it's changed at all either. Do you notice other guys checking Kristen out, and do you get jealous? Um, I've noticed it a few times. You have? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny, because you don't point it out. I don't get, I I think when I was younger, I would have, um, I know I would have, but I really don't feel like I get jealous now about it. Um, I always tell him if somebody was going to hit on me or whatever, I'll buy me a drink or I don't know, whatever would happen. I always tell him it's a compliment because I'm with him, I'm his wife, and I'm going home with him, so. I guess if I saw a guy hitting on her and I see if I saw her responding to it. Well, know, that's different. There's just saying do you. In a certain way then that, that's going to bother me. Um, well, yeah, but that'd be my fault. They're saying, have you noticed guys checking me out? Not my behavior. Because obviously I... I have a few times, like I said, but I don't, I don't, <clears throat> I don't go out and I don't look for that. So I imagine if I started looking for it I would notice it more. Um, next question. This is kind of awkward. We don't have to really answer this, but they asked, has romance changed? 
Let's go to the next question. <laughs> All right. Did you think my attitude would change because I'm smaller? Um, I thought it would a little bit, yeah. Just if you watch the old videos, you'll see he was a, a little concerned. Yeah. I think everybody's a little concerned. Yeah. If your partner changes that physically, that they'll change. Like yeah. become bratty or overconfident or whatever. Yeah, I was a little worried about it. And has it. So <clears throat> the question was, did you think my attitude would change because I'm smaller and has it? I think you become more confident, but it hasn't bothered me. Um, I feel more comfortable when you're more confident because when, when you don't have the confidence that I, like in the past, I would worry about you um, not being confident. Um, so, no, I, th I think it's a good thing. And I think for people that are pre-op, <clears throat> it depends on the person, too. I mean, not everyone reacts the same way, and not every relationship gets handled the same way. I think that mm -hmm. sometimes the surgery magnifies the relationship you have. So, like, we had a good relationship and a strong friendship and partnership before surgery. Mm -hmm. So we still have that. Right. And it's changed in positive ways but if you have problems that are underlying in your relationship or issues that you don't deal with I think if you're a guy then that it could want, become a problem if you're the kind of guy that wants your wife or <clears throat> girlfriend to have zero confidence then yeah that's gonna be a major problem for you but like I said for me you're, want, you, yeah you're not I want Kristen to have confidence especially you know we have a three-year-old son so it's not something that um I wouldn't want her to have Right. All right, we'll be back with our final video and the last few questions.